Yo, it's that Brunez dropping another review on y'all. This time, what we're gonna be reviewing is the Bam, the Viper Tech flashlight taser. Okay, it took me a minute to get one of these because uh, where I live in the world, you can't exactly have them, you know, shipped to your house. So I had to take a couple uh, back channels. Uh, to get to it and what I mean by back channels I don't mean a uh, bootleg or or a black marker or anything like that it just means I had to get a little smart and um I had it uh you know I had to have this shipped to my son in Florida and then uh and then he uh shipped it to me here in Jersey so um you know um it took a little longer to get it but nonetheless I got it and uh we're going to do a little unboxing and uh review of it so that being said let's get right into it this is your box nice looking box when you get the box it appears like it's dusty but that, I think that's just the way the box looks but um it, it is kind of nice nice little logo artwork on the front on this side got your logo again and then you have uh, you know for law enforcement self-defense security and like everything else made in China on the other side of the box same thing logo this side nada this side nada and then on the on the, this side of the box, you got your normal barcode, and then you got your version, the VTS-189-1. That's the version that we have here. And then your little warning here, keep away from children, check your local and state regulations to determine if possession of this device is legal in the jurisdiction it is owned, it is uh, carried in. So. Enough about that. Let's get up into this box, see what we're working with. That slides right out just like that. Bam. And bam. Okay, when we open up the box, got a little information here. I'm sure, it's some type of manual. You know how I feel about that. I ain't reading it. But you can read it. I'll pause it and read it for yourself if you like. Enough of that. Put that to the side over here, and let's just get it, get the product out the box. See, we're working with here. Okay, pull this out. Bam! Got a nice little soft, you know, cloth, um, like a satiny type cloth on the inside of the box. Nice little presentation. It's not bad. Okay, got a little plug here, so I imagine this is what we're going to use to charge it. Um, and then you have your flashlight taser what's in like a holster that it comes with so you could imagine you can uh, run your belt through this some sorts clip it to your belt somehow it's just a little loop here so you can just like run your belt through it and then you have your velcro holding on the back right there and then it slides right in right there okay get this out the box here and boom here you go so, for what I'm seeing, just going around the box real quick, um, just going around it real quick, hold on, let me pause this up real quick, be right back. Sorry about that, we're back in. Um, uh, right here is your, or start from the bottom. That's where you plug in the plug right here to charge it, it just simply goes in like that. Boom, and then you plug this into any outlet and that's how you charge it. Right here's your power on off button. You turn it on to activate, so that way you can use a flashlight and stuff like that. Got your little Viper Tech logo engraved in the plastic there. This is made of hard plastic. Got a little lanyard there, wrist trap, so that way you don't drop it. Go around your wrist like so. Uh, a little inspection sticker, let you know someone's on their job, if just a focus in. Bam, someone's on the job. And your serial number for that one. Um, if you flip the switch right now, it's powered, it's on the off position. Oop, dropped it, blooper. Right now it's in the off position. Okay, so if I flip the flashlight right now, nothing happens because it's off. Okay, but when I flip this on, we'll get back to that in a second. 
But right now, as you see, like, how is that How is that a taser? It looks just like a flashlight, see? But for your protection, like, if you're going to keep it in your purse or whatever have you, you're going to protect yourself. You don't want the taser rods being engaged with stuff jangling around in your purse. And even if it gets flipped on by accident, you want it to be engaged. So it has this protective cover on it that snaps on and off. See? Now when you look at it now, there goes two little taser rods there. And right now, because it's not powered on, if I press the button, nothing happens. See? Same with the flashlight. Nothing. Now, when I flip down, as you see, real quick, Viprotect logo going around. But, um, <clears throat> get back to what I was saying before. If you go down, you flip the power on, <clears throat> boom. Power's in the on position now. Now, when I flip the flashlight on, you got flashlight. Now, for the real action, which you're really here to see. If I press this taser button, the little lightning, red lightning bolt there, you're going to get some taser action. Just like that. And uh, just so you know that if you're going to test this out, you never hold the button for more than a second as you could damage the unit. They're just little short little bursts just to check it out. Then, you know, just to make sure that it works, is all fine and good. But you never hold it more than a second when testing it out. Now, obviously, if someone's attacking you and using this for self-defense purposes, you want to hold that button down and keep zapping them until they stop attacking you or until they fall down. But just testing it out. If it's not in contact, direct contact for something, with something directly, I should say, you should never hold this for more than a second. Okay? Again, just so you can try to get a better idea what we're, what we're looking like here. Okay? It's pretty cool, right? Almost looks like a flashlight there. I don't know if you was able to see that. Let's try to get a little closer look. See that little electric current going there? Now, this the box said, I mean, well, it, it says when I grabbed it, when I purchased it, it said that it was 230 million volts. I doubt that it's that many volts, but I imagine whatever amount amount of voltage that it actually is, I'm sure is enough to knock somebody on their butt if they're uh, coming at you. And the good thing about it is that to the average person, this looks like a flashlight. So when you have this cover on it, you'll never even know, be able to tell otherwise that this is nothing but a flashlight. So go ahead and power this off. Okay, safety first. So, with that being said, um, this has been a review of the Vipertech Flashlight Taser uh, version. Um, what version is this again? This is version VTS 189-1. So, if anyone's looking to get this, I'll put the, the links in the description of where you can cop it. If you're in a state that can have it shipped to you, um, have at it. If not, you got to get creative. Maybe you have a friend somewhere else that you can ship it to them and have them send it to you or, you know, something like that. Friend, cousin, relative, whatever. But uh, for the money, I'm going to say I, I, only, I only paid like 10 bucks for this. This is very inexpensive, very inexpensive for what you get. 10 bucks and a little bit of self-defense that won't hurt anybody. Well, not, I mean, it won't hurt to have, I should say. It won't hurt to have self-defense for yourself. But uh, this most certainly can hurt somebody. Um, hopefully it won't be you. So as long as you're being safe with it, I can't stress enough, be safe, keep the, um, keep the taser guard on it at all times, unless you actually need it and pull it out. And, uh, and by all means, you know, listen to what I say when I say this, never pull this out and threaten someone unless you really intend on using it. Cause it's nothing like threatening someone that you're going to use it. And then you don't use it. And then you put yourself in a worse situation. So if you pull this out, threatening someone to use it, you better be prepared to use it because I know if it were me and someone pulled this out on me and threatened to use it on me and they didn't, it's going to be problems for them because you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, I'm not going to, you know, say anything, you know, on, wrong in this video, but you know what I'm saying? So just like what, just like with a handgun. You pull a handgun out on somebody, you better be prepared to use it because if you don't, it's gonna be a, it could be a, a even worse problem than you pulling it out. So, with that being said, I'm Dapper Inez. This has been a review of the Viper Tech Flashlight Taser. And I'm out this piece. <laughs>